Mr. Will. I will stay fresh, photo fresh, baby. Cuts. You know what I'm saying? We out here. Absolutely. Temple Hills, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You, all, you know, matter of fact, you all the way man. out here in Temple Hills, Maryland. Jesus, man. man. Coming, from, coming from where now? Atlanta, Georgia. All right, all right. So, all the way. So you from Atlanta? Yes, sir. And then you've been? So I was I was born in Long Beach, California. Okay. Uh, moved to Atlanta when I was one, my family. Okay. Um, my sister, my dad, and my mom. And I uh, lived there all my life well, until I turned 18. Okay. Graduated from Miller Grove High School. Um, and that's where I learned uh, how to cut in the barber program, Grove okay. Street Barbershop. So, and uh, every time you walk in, uh, the entire barbershop would say, ride, ride. It was like, so it was a cohesive uh, barbershop environment uh -huh. that was just um, great camaraderie. Okay. So um, I, I grew up on, on good foundations in this barber. Okay. So yeah, so after after Atlanta, I went to college, Kentucky State University, okay. uh, where I got my bachelor's in marketing. Um, I ran track across country where I was captain of the team for a year. and. Uh, I graduated with my bachelor's in marketing. I moved out to the DMV. Shout out to the DMV. Yeah, yeah. Been here since 2013. Okay. Worked at Down the Road Barbershop for, those, for some time. And uh, and now I just opened Photo Fresh Cuts. Yeah. At 7127 Allentown Road. Right. Fort right. Washington. Yes, you know so, so is this your first spot? Like, is this your, yeah, like your own, like your first kind of? Absolutely. Branching out. Okay. Absolutely. It's, it's, oh, it's my first. Spreading your wings a little bit. Legal space. That's Absolutely. What's up, that's what's up, man. So, um, that's good, man. Good stuff. So, being as though you've been in Georgia, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you been in Cali, sir. You, 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 which is the Kentucky State. Yeah. Exactly. And now you in DMV, you've been up around. You yeah, know sir. what I'm saying? So, Absolutely. as a barber, you know, and you see the different. Um, haircuts in the different styles at different areas, states and cities and so forth. Um, give us your take on what you see that's not in the DMV, but that's in those other areas, right? Right. And then on the on the second part of it, you know, compare the DMV and how we cut hair to everybody. All right. Um, so Atlanta, obviously, everybody knows Atlanta's big on hair. Mm -hmm. Like. Uh, it's just like a hair mecca type of industry out there. The way on they, both sides of the spectrum, women, right? And women and men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's where I I seen ladies like put skittles in girls' hair before, like trying to like be like, oh girl, you this is not fruity. Yeah, yeah. Like I done seen nah. some I done seen some crazy stuff before <laughs> in, the, in the salon and, and in the shop. Skittles, though. so yeah, she put skittles in it and it looked good. Right. And so, um, absolutely. Um, Atlanta's crazy. Atlanta's crazy, but that's where that's where it found that's where I feel my foundation. Um, I had a good foundation in this, in this barber world. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest thing in barbering that I picked up from around the nation uh -huh. was more so um, not in the style of cutting, okay. but in in the way people conduct business. Okay. And because at the end of the day. Everybody has Instagram and all social media, mm -hmm. and we all know what, what a, 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 a low fade looks like, mm -hmm. a high a high and tight uh, burst mohawk. Okay. Um, we all we all know what they look like and what you want. Of course, in quality, we talk about. Um, in my in my my point of view, in quality, it's your blend. It all comes down to how well you can blend. Okay. Um, your transitions, like I hate lines. Okay. I don't ever want to see a line in my haircuts. Okay. And that's how I was raised in, in the barber game, which was uh, no lines. So you, so you saying, so you looking at it more from of a uh, from a wide perspective of different areas instead of the actual cut. You looking at the the, the customer service yes. aspect of it, or how you conduct yourself. Yes. You know, so so the the actual cut itself, everybody pretty much are like around the same level. You might have a different approach here and there with certain styles and flavors depending on what city you're from. Right. However, you say everybody's pretty much on the same level. It's the it's more of the, the, the customer service or how, you know, um, the different areas conduct themselves with their business. Is that what you pretty much saying? Absolutely. Okay. okay. It's, it's it's all on um, on the individuals and their mindset yeah. on, on how ambitious they are. Okay. And yeah. how, how focused they are on on giving their client quality haircut that they expect to give okay. to their clients. Cool. Cool. Um, 
it's, it's, it's your stopping point. Okay. Basically, like, when you see, okay, I need to move on from this part of the haircut, or I need to work on it a little more, get the blend up. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, uh, they don't have certain disciplines when it comes to um, uh, the quality of their cut. Do you feel like the DMV area is on that level to what you're saying? Oh, well, now when we come to the DMV, yes, sir. DMV is a whole different breed. Oh, Every, oh, everybody, yeah. out, everybody out here are animals, they, yeah. they dogs, right? Okay. So, so this, I mean, you, you have to look at, all right, so people, and their personality and where they come from obviously means a lot. And in those country areas, and excuse me for saying it like that, but in those rural areas, mm -hmm. um, they're a little more laid back. People, right. you know, cost of living is a lot lower. Mm -hmm. So quality of things in life are a lot more lax mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And so if someone like myself or anybody from the DMV goes there, then they're the man. Because yeah. out here in the DMV, so. Quality is the first thing on everybody's, uh, you know, on your, on your spectrum, so as it should be. It should be, right. As right. it should be. Right, right, right. And so, uh, along with quality, they uh, they want the full package. Out here, it's, it's uh, I want, I need everything. Right. I need that full subscription. Mm -hmm. um, you can't half-step anything. Right. Which is, which is a blessing, because that's the type of person I am. Right. So that's why when I came out here, I fit the bill. Right. Instead of being somebody from a, a slower paced area gotcha. and, and getting left behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because gotcha. you will get left behind at DMV. Oh, yeah, you will. Sure. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Good, good answer, man. Yeah. Um, so let's go right into um, do you think a haircut is just a haircut? Um, from what you've been saying, I feel like, you know, um, where do you feel like how a haircut should be? Um, presented from a barber? Did, should, should they present the haircut just like a normal haircut? Do you feel like a haircut just a haircut? Uh, well, my, uh, as far as I feel, I feel that haircuts are not just a haircut at all. It's, it's how you feel. Uh, right now, I'm getting him into his birthday mode. This is this is his birthday haircut. Oh, okay. And so, I know that. And I love when my clients tell me uh, what what the special occasion is mm -hmm. because I want to be there with you mentally right now like and so this is me celebrating your birthday with you like that okay by by making sure that you have that quality of a cut that you can celebrate your birthday with no worries on how you look gotcha. because we are your image specialists right you know for sure you know shout out to Kofi the image specialist <laughs> so what's up with this uh this um this grand opening you had man I mean, I, 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 we one of the come but you know stuff had to get right. stuff done you know but I, I know it probably turned out really really good man I mean the style is it's like that so I mean what you tell me tell me the words on how it went um first shout out to all the vendors who came out uh we had crab boss out here um yeah. we had uh we had cake ups and she still has more products than we always Probably be a uh, lifetime uh, partnership okay. selling products for her. Okay. Uh, Five dollar cake jars, uh, as well as we we're lifetime partners with uh, Crab Boss as well. Okay. We'll have we'll have him out on big events though, so, okay. you know, right, and vice right. versa if possible. Okay. Um, a uh, couple other partnerships that we're still working on that you can't disclose until we get those contracts okay. signed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, major major moves on the way for us. Um. Uh, as far as the grand opening, thank you everybody for coming out. It was a major event. My family came up from Atlanta. Uh, we had full house. We had all our barbers here ready, working. Um, it's just a great atmosphere. Okay. Right now, uh, we have six chairs, but uh, we have a staff of 13. Oh. And so, uh, a lot of people don't know that. And that's because our barbershop is more than just a barbershop. Okay. We are uh, a multimedia production company. There we go. And so that's that was part of the grand opening to okay. to explain to everybody more of the concept of what we handle here, or okay. what or what we accommodate and the services that we provide. So 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 is that what makes this shop different from any other shop? Absolutely. All right. So, Absolutely. So, so, so let's tackle that real quick. All right. So on our on our multimedia production side of the company, mm -hmm. uh, we we market and facilitate all marketing aspects for our barbers. Um, so. All social media concepts, um, booking, um, 
and just awareness of our location uh, comes from the head, the house. Yeah. And so, of course, our barbers put their footwork in as well. Yeah. But um, I haven't, I, you know, I've, I've worked for several companies in my life. Mm -hmm. um, I was in the military for 10 years. I, I worked on helicopters and, and flew as a crew chief um, in the United States Army. Uh, 15 I was already thinking Army. Yeah, I, uh, so. I've been an accountant before for Kentucky State University. Okay. Um, I've like been a manager of, of Bullmore AMF Bowling Alleys, the AMF on St. Barnabas yeah, Road. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was manager of that for a little okay. while. Okay. You know, when I first got here. Yeah. Um, I've like just traveled. I've seen a lot of things, and what I've learned in this barbering field mm -hmm. is that barbershops tend to open, and um, there's no there's no structure. There's, there's not much foundation. There's no. Um, there's no SOP, which is like a standard operating procedure yeah. on how, yeah. how basically we, we expect to handle our business, conduct our business, like our language in here and, um, the professionalism. and the professionalism yeah. outside. Um, but with all of that, still maintaining you you being yourself. So, yeah. And so it's still it's a balance. Right. Yeah. And and keeping all of these things like uh like making sure we're open. Like making sure barbers are here at all times. And so, uh, with all of these concepts and more to come, which I'll probably just might as well say it, plan on being the first 24-7 barbershop. Mm. And so, in the DMV. Mm. And so... That's made. Yeah. So, that's right now I'm looking for barbers that's willing to work in the evenings that's or me. at night. That's me. You know what I'm saying? That ain't even made. That's me. Yeah. So, that's, so that's what we're working on. You that. pull that off home skillet. Right. Hey. And then, um, so I I did set this up as a uh, as a corporation, okay, and we're franchise. Good. Okay. So our, our next location opens in 2020 in Atlanta, okay, and 2021 in LA. So um, we're moving and we're staying focused. Great, great market, man. That's what's up. Yeah. And I uh, just making sure that it, that the team is solid. Yeah. The team is solid because yeah. without your team, you can't last. And I'm I'm just fortunate enough to. Be in a position to, to know a lot of great barbers that um, that know me and are willing to work with me and over here, and they see the vision of what's what's happening. And that's important, especially to develop a team. You know what I'm saying? So that's good, man. Well, look, I ain't gonna take too much more of your time, man. You get back, get your man fresh, that's and uh, good, 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 good talk with you, man. All day. Stay fresh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but uh, make sure. Make sure y'all uh, go to the website, pfcuts.com, and check it all the way out. We have events like all the time throughout the week. Um, and they, we have events throughout the night, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you purchase a shirt, excuse me for looking at all this stuff. <laughs> My bad. Make sure you go purchase a shirt um, on the sales page. Um, go check out the events page. Um, a lot of things coming, coming up. We're doing a pop-up this Saturday inside the Iverson Mall as well. And so, What's the uh, that? that is July 7th. That is July 7th. July 7th. And so, yeah, July 7th. Come through around noon and we'll be there. And so we'll have the chairs set up and our shirts. We'll probably be selling some shirts and some cake up products. And uh, just enjoy yourself. PF Cuts on everything. It's PF Cuts. Hashtag PF Cuts. Find us on all social media. Check our website out. Everything. Y'all the best. PF Cuts. DMP Illis, we out.